Hi, Stargazer. This is Marcy of Earth Sky. Look for the fat crescent moon after sunset on the evenings of October 26th and 27th. It'll lie near the teapot. The teapot stands out as an obvious pattern of stars in the constellation of Sagittarius the Archer. When the moon is not glowing brightly within it, it really does resemble an earthly teapot. So why look toward the teapot when the moon is washing out its stars? Because when we look toward the moon when it's near the spout of the teapot, as it is on October 26th, we're looking in the direction of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And it's cool to think about the supermassive black hole that resides there. It contains the mass of 4 million suns in the space of only about 8 suns lined up side by side. On the following evening, October 27th, the moon will float near the stars of the teapot. They'll set several hours after sunset. Then once the moon moves on, you'll need a fairly dark sky to see the teapot. It'll be above the southern horizon as darkness falls in October, and it'll set a few hours after sunset. In a dark sky, can you imagine the Milky Way is steam rising from the teapot spout? It's really the light from a thick concentration of stars and dust in the disk of our Milky Way galaxy. And on October evenings, the Milky Way is stretching overhead from Perseus and Cassiopeia through Cygnus, Aquila, Scutum, Sagittarius, and Scorpius. It's an incredible sight in a dark sky. If you've got binoculars, use them to scan along the Milky Way to see numerous clusters and nebulae. Please like, subscribe, and share so you won't miss any upcoming night sky events. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do.